In today's video, we have the grand finale of my first ever playthrough of Minecraft. Not just regular Minecraft though, but Pokemon themed Minecraft, also known as the free to join Pocket Pixels Pixelmon server. This is an expansive, completely fresh map that you, the viewer, can join alongside me and tons of other people as well. As long as you have Java Minecraft, you can follow the instructions in the description below that takes you to an easy installation guide that allows you to set up everything and join the server. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe, plus leave me a comment down below with whatever's on your mind. It could even be what your favorite Pokemon is. But with that, let's not delay and get right into the video. All right, as per usual, we're starting off here in the hub for Pocket Pixels. And as always, there is a spring sale going on for 20% off. You can get that at shoppocketpixels.net. And you can't forget about the calendar that tells you what event's going on and which day of the week you're playing. This is episode four of the series, like I said. So if you haven't seen the last couple episodes, I definitely recommend go watching them. They're a fun time, if I do say so myself. Plus, if you want to start your adventure in Pocket Pixels, you can get a free starter pack on shoppocketpixels.net. This just gives you a whole bunch of cool essential items to start your adventure and get off on the right foot. The installation guide, server IP, and Discord server is in the description below if you want to check that out. I definitely recommend you join their Discord server if you haven't already. You can meet a bunch of new friends there and learn more about the game, plus have any questions answered there. As always, we are in the Pixelmon Yellow server, so let's get into it and continue our journey. All right, this is the real moment of truth because it has been four episodes, and in the first episode, I did take on a gym and fail miserably. So I trained, I did a little stuff with the features in the game, and I'm now ready to finally take on some gym battles. I've done a lot of things in this game, like catching Pokemon and building my house, but I have yet to get a single gym badge, and I want to get as many as I can today. I was given some gift Pokemon by members of my community, plus I did catch a bunch of Pokemon in the last episode, so I have them leveled up and ready to go for the gym. This is the current team. I have Quagsire, Bayleaf, Crystal Onyx, Trapinch, Pachirisu, and Golem. I tried to build the current team around the typing of the first gym, which is rock type, but after that, we're just going to see how far we can go with whatever Pokemon we can use. You can type backslash gyms in the chat or what I'm going to do because I'm going to show you some other things as well as you use backslash menu which brings you to this screen. This screen right here for the yellow server gives you stuff like general info and features of the game as well as the teleport war shops, kits, and statistics. You know them, you love them. We have our daily quests here like Harvest Dawn and Doctor Who plus today's quest which is catch ground type Pokemon. I'm not going to lie to you, I am pretty nervous to take on some gyms. I did get molly Wopped in the first episode but in fairness I was not ready with typings and Pokemon and everything to battle them, but now I am. We're gonna do the story mode gyms, and we're gonna start with gym number one, the rock type gym. I do remember us losing to Flames the MC, but the only available gym leader right now is Wealthy Wizard, so we're gonna take them on. They have a win loss record of 219 wins and 171 losses with two draws. I'm so scared to take on this gym, but we've joined the waiting queue, so it's only a matter of time now. Okay, so we can only bring three Pokemon with us, but I'm gonna bring Bayleaf, Quagsire, and Crystal Onyx with us. I'm gonna start the battle. I'm gonna start the battle. I'm gonna start the battle. Okay, okay. Okay, um, you're sending out Carcoal, which I led with the completely wrong Pokemon, if that's the case. All right, easy peasy. I'm switching out right away. I can't deal with the Carcoal with a Bayleaf, and I don't want to lose my Grass type this fast. Okay, Water Gun for the win. Quad super effective. Carcoal used Explosion. Oh, okay. Okay, so I did take some substantial damage from that, but, you know, you kind of sacrificed yourself, so I'll take it. All right, so he sent out Dreadnought, and assuming Quagsire's going to go down here, probably, I'm just going to try to use Yawn and see if I can put it to sleep. I am outsped, so that did not work, unfortunate, but it's fine. Come on, Bayleaf, you can do it. Pave the way, put your back into it. Let's use um, Magical Leaf. We one-shot the Dreadnought, though, but here comes Shiny Craniados. Use Thrash. Oh my god, that hit so hard, but it's gonna get confused, at least in the end. It lived on 1.7% HP. I'm mad. But one more should do it, hopefully. No, Bayleaf died. Okay, never mind. Well, thankfully, Thrash from Craniados will do nothing to Crystal Onyx. Why not just hit it with the Dragon Breath and see if I can win? I am a Pokemon Master. Let's go. Good job to the Gym Leader. Well, Gym Leader Wizard, I appreciate you so much and thank you for the fun battle. I'm going to keep testing my luck and doing more Gym Battles as long as they're open. So let's go to the normal Gym next. All right, the Gym Leader Just Better, lol, is available and they have 77 wins, 27 losses, and one draw. Naturally, I'm going to battle them. So let's get into it. Oh my gosh, that was a fast except. Okay, so they're normal types and I can bring four Pokemon with me. Let me bring Bayleaf again, Quagsire again, Crystal Onyx again, and this time, let me bring... Oh, it actually lets me bring a level 35 Torkoal. Okay, so that's good then. I'll go. All right, so they led with Ambi Palm. I see them all the way over there, and let's get into the battle and take off for the victory. Ambi Palm's normal gem boosted the move's power, and it took out almost all of my health. Oh, and you use Acrobatics to knock out the Bayleaf in one shot. That's not good. 
Okay, so the first gym was like level 25 Pokemon. So I thought these would be like maybe like level 30 and I'd still have a chance. But no, that's level 35 and I'm under leveled massively. Thankfully, normal types will do nothing against Crystal Onyx, which is rock and ground. So I'm going to just use Dragon Breath and hope for a Paralyze. This gym leader came prepared and left me on one HP with low kick. How dare you have a fighting move? Okay, so you still outspeed me while still paralyzed. That's cool. I didn't even want to use my Onyx anyways. All right, Torkoal, you're level 35 and you're the best option I got. So let's do this, fam. Flame Wheel didn't do too bad there. So let's just keep using that. Also, Torkoal is very slow, so I need any speed boost I can get. Thank you. Torkoal, the real MVP with a critical hit to faint Ampipom. You have a Heliolisk. Okay, that is normal type, but it's also part of Electric. Now I'm kind of mad. If only I still had my Crystal Onyx. You use Thunderbolt and just kill me like that. That easy. Oh, no. Well, thankfully, you can't use Thunderbolt on a Quagsire, but it's 10 levels under leveled, so I don't know what I'm going to be able to do. I swear, I just keep putting these Pokemon in red HP because they never faint. So it sacrificed itself with whatever item it uses and it used quick attack and made my quagsire faint so i lost i lost and i don't have a bed to cry in so i'm just gonna have to be upsetty spaghetti then there is a 50 minute cooldown to take on the gym again after losing so even though i just leveled up a whole bunch of new team members for a better matchup i won't be able to do it <laughs> I mean, it's all right, because I wanted to get at least one gym badge by the end of the series, and I did just that in this episode, four episodes in, so I'm well on my way to becoming a perfect Pixelmon master. We did lose the gym battle, but as always, I do have two crate keys that I get to use every single video, and you can get your own crate keys at shoppocketpixels.net. Today, we have two flamboyant dragon crate keys, so let's see what the raffle gives us with our two pulls. Here it is. Moment of truth, the flamboyant dragon crate. Wouldn't you know, we can get a whole bunch of dragons. This is a pretty sick one. We can even get shiny Rayquaza, shiny Zygarde, shiny Zekrom, shiny Latios, there's tons of cool options here. Oh, give me the custom form Pokemon that I can get too. That'd be so cool to have. What's the spin gonna give us? What's the spin gonna give us? And it is... Oh, Shiny Noifat. I'll take that. All right, second pull of the Flamboyant Dragon Crate. What's it gonna be? Please give me the Shiny Zygarde. I never got one of the Dynamax Adventures. I've been craving for one for like a year now. Oh my God, we got a custom form Dragonite. Let's go, Onyx, you have a friend. Crystal Onyx and Ashen Dragonite, the best of friends you love. Love to see it. Are you trying to push me off a ledge right now, sir? In this economy, in the middle of a global Panera Bread, did you just unleash a Reshiram in my home? You got a Groudon in here too. Why not? At this point, can someone tell me why there's been Synesties in my house like the past three days? They're everywhere. And it's only Synesty too. It's only Synesty. Yami, welcome to the neighborhood. Was that Meowth on fire? I've come to just learn that Pokemon just suddenly burst into flames and my home for that fact too. They did just burst into flames and I don't know why or how. I've just kind of accepted it. Are you okay? Blink once if you need help. Oh my gosh, you caught a Badoof with a top hat? Like our meeting point in the game is that the Badoof at the top hat in the hub, but you actually caught a real one. What a dapper gentleman. Even the Groudon shook. He's just kind of like surrounding the Badoof like, oh my God, oh my God, he's here. He's even got a little monocle. What a dude. What a D-O-O-D -O -O -D dude. I hope you guys enjoy this. I, I made this sign like last week. Razor needs material smile. I'm struggling smile. And then the community chest was set up. Okay, so this is the house that was already here when we set up our neighborhood. And we kind of just joined them instead of them joining us. But they got a really cracked house and you can't believe it until you see it. Hello, friends. I'm planning on building something like a trade port with a secret team aqua base underground. It would be really nice if some people with complimentary ideas would settle nearby. LG Blaville. Team Aqua, Team Magma, Team Plasma. You know, everyone's got their favorite. LG Blaville, whoever you are, you weren't a part of our neighborhood. We kind of just set up shop here. So whoever you are, if you end up watching this video some way, somehow, shout out to you and your house because it's really cool. You know, to quote DW from Arthur, that sign can't stop me because I can't read. They have an entire team aqua ship down here like the submarine from the story in hoenn and like the map of the region too like this is no joke team aqua symbol on the wall you must always wear a uniform if you see someone of team magma you have to fight him her okay okay work towards our goals as you see fit uh you can tell i was kind of down here based off everything that is destroyed team aqua members aren't supposed to be one with the magma i'm sorry i've, I've gone to the dark side y'all gotta tell me what glowstone does because that sounds pretty spacey oh Oh, wait, you put that down and I broke it. Oh, is that to light things up? My bad. My bad. Am I the problem? Am I the drama? I had fun down here in our adventures in the magma cave, but uh, I feel like Heatran's getting really mad at us right now, so I'm gonna skedaddle home and continue working on my basement. Oh my god, that scared the living crap out of me. I was like, there's a shiny in my house. All right, real talk. Why is my house always on fire? Can someone explain it to me? This part of the house, to give like context to what this is, this was kind of like a walkway through because I wanted it to be able to see like the downstairs area still while still being like a second floor. 
So it leads into this back room here where I'm gonna work on windows now. And then there's the third floor, of course, that I was just up putting windows at. So that's kind of like a three floor basement. That is, that is such a me thing to do with building that I might just destroy everything out of impulse. Okay, instead of pushing out the building because I'm at the edge of the plot land, I'll just do stairs down and make this even with that and that. That sounds like a good game plan on how to expand the house with it being perfectly symmetrical on top, second floor, and then on the bottom floor. What I think I'm gonna do is for today, I'll probably stop with this house here and then pick it up and do it more off screen and then show you guys the finalized product when I'm done. All right, we're warping to day three now of the video and we are gonna go look through all the houses in the neighborhood for all of our community members and look at my house as well to see the finalized products. There's the outside of my house. I mean, to be fair, it really still does give off dungeon vibes, but for the most part, and this being my first ever playthrough of Minecraft, I think for a house, it looks pretty solid. I say finalized product, but I actually don't have furniture for my house, but I do have torches to light everything up and this is the main floor. Up on the second floor, it's the same type of deal with the torches and everything to light everything up. Uh, I did actually end up putting the glass windows at the top of the house for the sunlight to run through, and I do have storage in my Pokemon Center here or anything I might need throughout my journey. But let's get to the real bread and butter of this house, which is the basement. Here is the basement. I ended up actually making multiple floors in the basement, which is kind of funny, but there's a bunch of glass windows to let in light and torches everywhere to keep things lit up since it was actually pretty dark down here without them. I actually have no idea what I would put down here on this floor outside this room, but that's a problem for another day. I changed the walkway a little bit because I still really wanted the aesthetic of being able to look down off the railings and lead to another room. So this is what ended up being this room. Also, I'm not gonna lie, but putting all this glass and wood up was the most painful process ever. It took forever for me to finish. At least it turned out looking good, I can say that. The very top room of the basement does not have any torches yet because I ran out, but it does have windows to let some light go through, and it's the same actually sizing-wise as the two floors below. So that is my house, that's my basement and everything, and I showed you all the floors, and I'm not gonna lie to you, it took forever to make. I was on this game for hours and hours and hours building and making all the water go away in the basement, but it turned out pretty well in the end. Hey, Razor just wanted to say your streams are great delta oh thank you i appreciate that that means so much all right my next door neighbor is delta and he still has the mobile home here nothing's changed on the outside he has been doing a lot of planting though you have to go on this little teleport thing to get to the floors below but he has his pokemon center and fossil area in here on the first floor if we keep teleporting down there's more floors and he's got a couch and anvils and storage down here for the most part and i think there was stuff here earlier but now it's gone i don't know what happened but it still looks really cool but if you thought that was all no no, oh, there is more because keep teleporting down and you find Team Magma's secret hideout. All right, next to Delta's house, we have Finn's house where he is awaiting me here and welcome. That's like the trade machine. I remember we did the trade in like the first episode and he has more stuff over here. His brain works exactly like how my brain works where everything has to be perfectly symmetrical and this side of the house is the exact same as that side of the house. This is the third floor where you can look down on everything and you can even look down on the council room right here with chairs and everything. The house is super dope, but there is still one more spot where you can crouch down right here and find the secret area with all the storage and whatnot and teleporting down real quick you can use this path to go underneath all the world and see the crevices of this earth all right fam i'm not gonna lie to you i was not in here at all when the server reset and now that i'm back on i have no idea where i am it's just it's just like little corridors here is this like a platform or something oh it is oh Wait, what happened? I just went into the black void. <laughs> okay, so the screen just went black and I thought I was underwater. So I was hitting the space bar to jump up and try to go to the top of the surface. But then it led me up here on top of the world. Well, considering I don't know how I got into that part of the house, I'm just gonna jump down and continue on with my merry way. All right, we're at Shadow's house now where he doesn't have much change, but he does have the waterfall finalized with it leading to a little pond here. Inside is all the same with the couches and the chairs and the PC and everything. And he's still got his little farm area here. Oh wait, this room's new and he's got glowstones lighting it up. And and then of course he does have the tree house on top of his house with glowstones and windows to light everything up and you can see all the neighborhood from here okay i stand corrected there is actually new additions because this is a new area to his house as well which leads into here very cool house and we're glad to have you a part of the neighborhood for this series all right we got linus's house now which is the groudon lair He's got windows and everything to look out in the neighborhood and spy on everyone because you know Team Magma's up to no good. Magma King's desk. Hello. So are you the king, the receptionist, or both? Because that's kind of impressive. Well, considering he has someone's head on a stick here, I'm going to just jump off the roof since I'm done with the house. I honestly still don't know who made this, but someone made like a water gym area over here. It's got this little battle arena here with waterfalls everywhere, and someone in the neighborhood must have built this because this was not here when we plotted our land. So if you're watching this video and you made it, tell everyone because it's really cool. All right, we got one more house in the neighborhood to show 
off, which is the newest addition to the neighborhood actually with Wild Hearts House. It's got rainbow windows and everything. Happy Pride Month! Inside, it is beautiful with the sunlight shining through and even at night, the torches would still light up everything just fine. You got your storage, crates, PC, and everything you could possibly need in the house. Wait, I stand corrected because that was not the last house. KJL's house is up there as the hot air balloon. Problem is, I don't know how to get up there and KJL never told us, so it'll just be a mystery forever. Thus concludes the neighborhood tour to wrap up the finale. And if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Plus, leave me a comment down below and tell me if you like this series of Pixmon since this was a new direction for the channel for me and I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. With that, friends, though, I will bid you a farewell and I'll see you later for alligators.